Hello everyone. In this lesson about the origins of the orchestra, we will be looking at the types of music that appeared during the Baroque era. Music and many other art forms began to flourish between 1600 and 1750, during a time we now call the Baroque era. In the early 1600s, theater was big in England, where Shakespeare was writing his plays. At the same time, in Italy, a brilliant composer named Monteverdi was setting his own plays to music in ways that had never been done before. It was a new art form known as opera. The actors sang their lines and they were accompanied by instruments. Some plays with spoken lines also had musical accompaniments called incidental music that helped set the mood and tell the story much like film music does today. Most operas and plays are also introduced with a one-movement instrumental work called an overture. In France, King Louis XIV built the Palace of Versailles and employed actors, musicians, and dancers to entertain large parties. He loved to dance and he was especially fond of the ballet. Other nobility used Versailles as a model for their own parties and ballet became very popular all across Europe. To keep up with demand, composers wrote dance suites, which are multi-movement collections of dances with names like Minuet, Gavotte, Beret, and Gigue. Like plays and operas, ballets and dance suites are also introduced with a one-movement instrumental overture. As string instruments evolved, new music was written to feature the instruments themselves. The sonata is an instrumental work for one or two soloists who are accompanied by a cello or a bass and a harpsichord. This two-part accompaniment is called a basso continuo, and it was present in nearly all music during the Baroque era. The concerto is another instrumental work which features one or more soloists, except they are accompanied by an entire orchestra as well as a basso continuo. A concerto typically has three movements, a fast first movement, a slow middle movement, and a fast dance-like finale. Italy was the center of the world of string music from the 1300s all the way through the Baroque era. It was the birthplace of the violin family, the opera, the sonata, and the concerto, and it was home to some of the earliest successful musical performers and composers. As a result, Italian became the professional language of musicians, which is why so many musical words like sonata and concerto, and even common English words like opera, cello, virtuoso, and solo are rooted in Italian. Now read lesson 1.2 in your workbook and complete the exercises for this lesson. In the next lesson, we will look at the early Baroque string composers. My name is Christopher Selby. Thank you for watching this tutorial on music theory for the successful string musician.